Now, before we start co-starring in the show three, I would just like to mention that this brilliant artist in my classroom, okay, took ages on a drawing that he would like me to show you, okay? He definitely didn't just make it up for a minute, just for a quick shout out, okay? Here it is, this lovely picture that you can clearly tell took ages. I'm gonna hang it on my wall. No! Okay, so the last meeting that was for the uh, microphone and uh, final adjustments, you know, I had no idea how to adjust your mic. You see, it's like, you know, like a little blue box. So imagine this is my uh, blue box. It's my outside or drug dealer phone, if you want to call it that, right? You tack the little black box into your trousers and then the wire goes up your shirt and, and your headphones, well, it's quite obvious, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, the 10-year-old, well, sorry, there's another 10-year-old then, always 11, I think. Sorry, Oliver, I forgot your age wrong, okay. Uh, yeah, so there's 10-year-old or 11-year-old, and he had the other moon part. He, I, he's... This, well, we play the same person, but he plays it in Act 1, and I play it in Act 2, okay. So, yeah, he plays me, but younger, or Jesus, but younger, right? And he actually does look like me, and we're not related, I don't think, okay? <laughs> right? He is a shout out, Oliver, and you don't even know it's there, okay? He knew how to adjust his mic, and it was like his first or second year at this group. I've been there for about five, six years, but then again, I never had a part, so I never had a microphone before. He had to teach me how to do it, and he would say it, right? And uh, fair play to him, it, it was really embarrassing for him. Like, he'd be like, yeah, that's got to go in there, like... Obviously, he's refused referring for the, the microphone and the mic wire had to go through my top, okay? Fair play to you, Oliver. You're a champ. And Archie, you helped me too. And uh, it was amazing. Also, he'd starred in a show prior to this, so uh, he already had mic experience, okay? The black box was supposed to go in my back pocket, but it was, like, too big. It was school trousers, back pocket, like, really small, right? So I put it inside my trouser leg. Now, bearing in mind, I have to sit down on stage at some point, because, like, I've got to be like this at some point, and praying, and, yeah, okay. Um, I, I'd have to sit with my legs slightly at an angle. So, like, whereas, like, cross legs, I'd sit like that, I had to sit like that, if you know what I mean, okay? Uh, yeah, so I sit with my legs slightly at an angle to not sit on the box, because I don't want to break it, you know? I don't even know how much they are, but they're bound to be really expensive, right? Also, um, you'd think that the microphone would be quite hard to, quite easy to hide, you know, just like, little quick mic there, done. It's actually quite hard, well, it's not hard to hide, but it's obvious that you have one. Like, you have a black box, wire, and then like a big microphone set going around your head. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I managed with it, okay. And, uh, also, you, you could barely tell you got it on, because, like, when you're talking... All the sound goes to the audience, and you can't even see the audience with all the lights. Okay, but uh, yeah, I managed with, with, with it, but I messed up my line before my song, which scared me, you know, getting a line wrong, like, then only a couple, a couple of days before my show, okay? Anyway, yesterday I uh, improved, and yes, I feel oddly confident and not so nervous now, and that's all I've got for part three. Stick around for part four, where I'll be talking about during the actual show, okay, because my show's not, not, not long to go now. Anyway, goodbye.